Well, well, friends, welcome back to the podcast, the review, whatever you want to call it. The Acolyte episode five, just finished watching it first, raw, real reactions. Um, it's no secret that I have not been a fan of this show um, so far, and uh, I still really am not. Uh <laughs> And that is because now before you before you crucify me in the comments, hear me out real quick. It's because while yes, this episode had the best action in the entire show and some of the best saber dueling I have ever seen. Props where props are due to the stunt coordinator, the fight choreographer. Beautiful, beautiful fights, beautiful duels. Yeah, this is spoiler filled. If you don't want spoilers, run away. Three, two, one. Here we go. The whole Jedi squad is dead. Yes, Daphne King's character is dead. Yord's character is dead. Every they are all dead. The sole survivors are May, Osha, and Soul. Everybody else, Dunzo. Um. Now, the acolyte or the Sith. Now it's officially he. He's calling himself a Sith. The big baddie right there down on the screen. It is revealed in this episode that it is May's best friend. I cannot remember his name, but the guy who dealt her the drugs to kill Tom and Baratheon. Um, he is he is the 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 Sith. And he, his goal is that he wants to get a master or he wants to get an apprentice and uh, now that they've seen his face, he has to kill everybody because the Jedi aren't supposed to know that he's around or the world's not supposed to know that Jedi are around. Hence why he wanted May to do. Well, I don't really know. But what I will say is during the action sequences, this is stuff that I've wanted to see in Star Wars for a long time. The one the part where he stabs that lady through and then pulls the dude onto the saber behind her. That was a beautiful kill. Um, the way Daphne Kings, I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. I can't remember her name. The way her character goes out was absolutely unreal. And I mean, unreal as in it was crazy. You know what I mean? I, 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 I thoroughly enjoyed the fight choreography in this episode and I thought it was really, really good. Now this is again, where the, the writing is what makes everything fall apart for me because the unmasking shows and all the time the 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 sith is hinting to knowing uh uh soul and i don't know if i just missed it but was this guy one of soul's old apprentices or knows soul somehow i'm i'm am i missing something because they kind of alluded to it and then he was like because when when he was talking to soul with the mask i was like you really don't remember me you don't this you don't that and then soul when he sees his face he was like what are you or you know, it's, there's no what have you become what are you doing here i know you soul's still kind of like uh who the heck are you <laughs> even when he sees his face and then the acolyte guy or the the, the sith guy is still kind of like acting as if he doesn't really know soul um so the writing there just kind of started being brittle and that's my biggest thing with this show is that it's it it's starting to contradict itself a lot. It, it sets some stuff up and then it just kind of lets it go off into the wind. Um, uh, Yord's death was pretty wild. The neck snap. We've seen that before in Star Wars where Vader literally pulled. Well, he no, he first pulled the guy out of the house. No, 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 no. It was in the Kenobi show where he just, yeah, he just snaps the guy's neck with the force. Um, but it was, it was dope. Like, I am also, I, and I said I said this at the beginning, at the very beginning of my first episode. You can go back and watch that, where I said that I a lot of people hate hand to hand to hand combat in Star Wars. I am here for it. I'm here for it. That's all there is to it. I love the hand to hand combat. I think the fight choreography was amazing. It was fast, but it was also grounded and readable. There wasn't. 10 million jumps up in the air and all this stuff like it was readable i really really liked how you could read the fights and what was going on um i cannot commend the stunt coordinator and the fight choreographer enough uh for that 
but going back to the writing, um, man, so it's not Osha, May, sorry, May finds out that her, her buddy is the master and, um, he was like, you really didn't know it was me, this and that. And I, and I got it wrong. I thought it was Yord. And then I thought it was the main big master lady, um, the green lady. Uh, but it wasn't. Anyway. So after, because they, they end up fighting again with the with the, the Sith dude or whatever. And he ends up being taken away by a bunch of bugs. Uh, Osha slaps uh, her droid's head that sets off a light. And the the bu- those bugs that a, that Soul killed one of them in the last episode, uh, carry off the Sith guy, and you know he's obviously if he can hold his own against six, he killed six Jedi if I'm if I'm correct, right? Um, but he was able to to fend them to 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 you know they, obviously he comes back later, but he gets taken away. Well, this is just where the it was so rough, man so rough this is this i just could not get behind this i'm sorry i I, everybody who loves the acolyte good for you i I, i'm glad you're finding some sort of joy um but for me when osha and may are talking it completely just again they just can't write this stuff man like first osha as a kid tries to or uh, may tries to kill osha as a kid for trying to leave her blah 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 right and then she she turns against her master after being like, oh, hey, you know, I, I'm only here for Osha. Osha is the only thing that matters. Blah, 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 blah. And then she's confronted with Osha by Osha. And she's like, I'm just, I might go to jail, but they're, they're not going to they're not going to imprison me forever if I tell them what I know. Right. Well, oh, man. OK, so. <laughs> so. Um, Osha, uh, May is telling Osha, you know, I love you that, you know, it's just us. You're, you're the only thing that matters this and that blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you tried to kill her. And she was like, well, I didn't, I, I did it for you. I, 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 I did all this for you. What do you mean? And I'm like, mother, literally, literally one episode ago, you did not give two short and curlies about what's going on with Osha until you saw that she was alive. Like, what do you, what? <laughs> like that, that she's like, I did this for you. I did this for us. And I'm like, I mean, I guess maybe if it was because that she, obviously she thought Osha was dead and was avenging her and stuff like that. But then like, wouldn't she continue to do it to continue I don't know, avenging the rest of her village because she still believes that the Jedi killed her entire village, all her people. Like, she's like, no, this no longer matters anymore. Oh, well, I did it for you, Osha. I did it for this. I did it for that. Like, I, I it just falls apart. But anyway, they hug. She's like, uh, May's like, let's just have it be us. Just let's leave. Let's this, let's that. And I will say right now, I'm going to compare this to the movie Legendary with Tom Hardy, where he plays twins. And you see it as two different people. In this movie, or in this show, the acting is the exact same for May and Osha. I can't, I, I, all I see is one person that's dressed up a little bit differently from the other person. And the biggest thing to me that really is a huge plot hole for all of this right as a black man i've had dreadlocks before you don't really get to control what happens with dreadlocks they go wherever they want to go sometimes so osha tries to arrest may they have a scuffle may or osha ends up knocked out by a force push off like a two-foot cliff and May's like you never were good at blocking and then she does the thing where they're trying to parent trap and she uses a lightsaber to cut her hair perfectly to look like Osha's and then she goes on and is going to pretend to be Osha I'm sure what she'll do is get to safety fly off planet dip out but I'm sorry man there's a huge problem with this and it's that May has a giant 
white tattoo on her forehead. Now again, dreadlocks, as we've seen so many times in the show, that tattoo on May is shown a lot and dreadlocks like to do their own thing. Also, that is not how you cut dreadlocks. May would have cut off her own nose. Like she just hangs her head over the, the or hangs the, the saber over her hair and then kind of just flicks it up and cuts her hair perfectly somehow. And I'm just like, what? What is this, bro? Why didn't you? What is this, man? Like, <laughs> my gosh. So then... So obviously, May is taking Osha's place, and she goes back to Sol, to Seoul, and she's like, "Hey, you know, she she uh, May's dead. Whatever, we gotta go." Um, and I think, I think, if I'm remembering this correctly, Seoul asked, "Where is she?" And May, pretending to be Osha, goes, "Who?" And he goes, "Your sister." And maybe that's a tease to like, oh, well, he kind of knows or he's starting to know or he's starting to learn that Osha isn't um, or Osha isn't Osha, that May isn't Osha. But for me and my he, this man is a, a master of the Jedi. And don't don't tell me that all the Jedi couldn't sense Palpatine as the Dark Lord, because already in canon, it's been shown and been told that Palpatine was able to cloud the Jedi. To cloud their their detection of him but i'm sorry man how the heck does soul not does he not sense that that's me i don't i don't understand that um maybe it's because he's dizzy and he's the mind is foggy or whatever and he just doesn't sense her to me i'm like what, what do you mean dude you don't sense that this is uh, whatever well then obviously our our sith buddy walks over to osha's body and that has now been looted and is just completely obviously like left for dead. Well, he wraps her up and he heals a wound. And I, I have no opinion on it. Force healing to me is not a big deal. Like, I know everybody was freaking out about it when Ray was doing it in the um in in the Rise of Skywalker, right? But as we've seen. Ray took the ancient Jedi text and it says in the scroll that it was a year between the last Jedi and the rise of Skywalker. Ray was training. Ray was learning the stuff. She learned it in the ancient Jedi text. That's how she was able to heal Kylo's wound. Grogu does it in the Mandalorian. Yes, he's 50 years old, but he's still a youngling. He's still a kid. He is a child. They literally call him the child. So he was able to heal grief Karga after grief got hurt. Now this dude's able to heal uh, Osha and again I it's it's a new force thing to me like we haven't seen before up until uh the rise of Skywalker and I was like I'm fine with it dude like I, it's not that deep to me like it's fine so he heals May or Osha gosh see he heals Osha and he wraps her up and I'm assuming he's gonna take her away and start training her well in my opinion I feel like he knows that that's Osha because before a standoff between Soul and uh, the Sith. He straight up says, "I want an, I want an apprentice. I want an acolyte." But this one failed me, and he's about to kill uh, May. So I'm pretty sure he's privy to the fact that that's Osha. Um, and again, too, it's not that hard. Just lift up her hair, and you'll see that she doesn't have the witch mark. Um, again, it, it could have been something so easy as to have it like on the back of her hand where someone could have wrapped their hand. I don't know, dude, but on the, on the forehead is just, uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I, I, that's kind of all that really happened in this episode. Um, which again, to me, the, the fight, the duel, that oh, unbelievable, man. It was, it, it felt like a heyday above a heyday to me. Um, this felt like these, this duel felt like a prequel duel. This, this one on six felt like a prequel one on six. Um, I, I just can't, I can't say enough 
good things about the fight. Like I, I'm a Star Wars fan. I love a, a good lightsaber segment, right? But also one that you can read that has impact and has meaning. Now, again, we don't know exactly who trained this guy. I'm still thinking it might have been Soul, um, but still, but still, uh, he bodied, he bodied all those Jedi. And this 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 episode did kind of play like a horror movie. Osha wakes up at the beginning, rolls over, sees a dead body right in her face. You're like, whoa, there was a jump scare here or there. Excuse me. I thought it was really I th I thought it was really cool how they did the whole opening um, part of this episode. But the writing to me is the thing that just pulls me out of it every time when there's some weird thing, man, that's such an easy home run for them to do. May literally could have been like, I stopped doing all of this. I stopped. I can't. Th what he wants doesn't matter to me anymore. Stick by what you literally just had her say. I, I, it doesn't matter to me. I'm here for you. I'm here for this. And then when May goes to, or Osha goes to arrest her, she should have been like, sure, arrest me. I'm going to prove to you that I'm not, I'm, that I'm done with this. I'm going to give the Jedi what I know about him. Or like, you know, cause obviously she didn't know his identity. Um, but still, they still believe that there was a Sith out there, that there was an assassin. And they thought that, Osh or May was the Sith. So what was she gonna say? He was the Sith all along? I don't know. But they should have just stuck with it, man. Um, but yeah. This episode had some cool flashy things. Uh it was a fun watch, and then when the writing took over, I just was completely taken out of it, which is really unfortunate. Cause like I said on my Instagram story, uh Someone had asked me during a Q&A, they asked, what was my honest opinions on the Acolyte? And I was like, it's not my cup of tea right now, but with two episodes, with four episodes left, they could turn it around. And the beginning of this episode, again, flashy, flashy, cool fight scenes. That's great. That's great. Top it off with some good writing at the end with you while you needed to do. Take it home. Have a great episode. But the writing just still, still just did not hit home for me. It, 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 oh, man. But anyway. That is my review and my feelings on the Acolyte episode five. If you like what you saw, want to see more, let me know down below. And I will see you all next week.